These seven design principles guide the AMP team and make AMP what it is. If you want to understand why AMP does things differently, this is the place to start. When in doubt, do what's best for the end user experience, even if it means that it's harder for the page creator to build or for the library developer to implement. We've chosen to build AMP as a library in the spirit of the extensible web manifesto, to be able to fix the web of today, not the web of tomorrow. AMP should be fast in today's browsers. Yes, all popular browsers out there. When certain optimizations aren't possible with today's platform, AMP developers should participate in standards development to get these added to the web platform. Really, please don't. Ensure that if AMP has outages or problems, it doesn't hurt the rest of the web. That means if the Google AMP cache, the Earl API, or the library fails, it should be possible for websites and consumption apps to gracefully degrade. If something works with an AMP cache, it should also work without cache. For example, don't integrate things on the client side just because that's easier when the user experience would be better with a server-side integration. Don't introduce components or features to AMP that can't reliably run at 60 FPS or that hinder the instant load experience on today's most common mobile devices. Some things can be made fast and are still a terrible user experience. AMP pages should deliver a fantastic user experience and speed is just one part of that. Only compromise when lack of support for something would stop AMP from being widely used and deployed. We won't give any special treatment to specific sites, domains or origins, except when needed for security or performance reasons. All of these principles combined set a helpful guideline for what we want AMP to be, a library to build beautiful responsive sites that are fast by default. You can find a written version of these seven design principles on ampproject.org, and if you ever see a feature in AMP that is seemingly in conflict with any of these, be sure to get in touch with us to let us know below on the linked outreach channels in the description so we can do something about it. Onwards.